What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to do a nose grind on a skateboard. So with this trick, you might need a little bit of wax because it's one that tends to get stuck. I'm filming this way because I don't want you to hear how loud the tennis court is over right over there. So with this trick, at first you want to practice next to a concrete curb, you know, something that's kind of sticky. Just ollieing and locking in. Because if you're on something slick at first, you're not going to be able to just lock in and slide this the first try. So you want to practice on something sticky, ollieing, and just landing like this all the way with all your weight on your toes pinched in and just stuck onto the ledge, not moving. And uh, you can practice trying to kind of pop off a little bit too. So you're coming at a slight angle, you're ollieing, lifting the front of your board up, pushing all your weight on your nose. Your nose is all the way down touching the ledge at first when you're learning this trick. You're not going to be balancing a little nose manual doing these at first. It's easy to get into this. It's easy to get on the ledge into this because you know you're ollieing, your front of your board is coming up first. You don't even have to ollie to get on something this size. I feel like my pointed nose is making this harder, but sometimes I am pressing the nose all the way up against the ledge, but occasionally I've noticed, I've been doing a few, that I am kind of doing a little nose manual on there. So it just depends. I think at first when you're really learning to lock in, it's good to just push it all the way down. But over time, you can just balance on just the truck without having to depend on the, the nose. I, I feel like that's the same with 5.0s. At first you have it pressed all the way down, but then over time you're just kind of balancing like a little manual on the ledge. You definitely want to start out just doing the last part of the ledge because uh, it's hard to hold this for a long time. I'm having a really hard time holding this grind all the way across this thing. This thing's a little sticky. I've got some wax, but it's so cold out here that it's like the wax isn't even coming off and sticking on the ledge for some reason. So before you learn this trick, you definitely want to know how to do a 50-50 and a 5-0 before you try to do a nose grind. A nose grind is definitely harder. Uh, you want to be able to do a good nose manual on a ledge as well. That's going to be easier than nose grind because the nose grind, you have to really push through it, especially if the ledge is kind of sticky. So it's, it's not an easy trick. So that was a good example of not getting all the way up on the ledge and that's one of the worst ways to fall on this trick. Another bad thing that could happen with this trick is coming off and rolling your front ankle since you're, you're really uh, putting your ankle in a dangerous spot here. This is a good way to know if you have good balance or not because like I'm struggling with holding this the whole way. I can do the last part of the ledge but I need to do some like exercises with those small balance muscles in my legs and feet because just holding it the whole way is hard for me. I can either like push the nose all the way down and hold it or just do part of the ledge. So that's how you do a nose grind. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If you enjoy this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.